Hello and welcome back everyone to another Find Men React video. This one is the top 10 scary British urban legends. <laughs> now, we've all heard certain urban legends depending on where you live. A lot of them um, that I could think of is like... God, I'm, I'm gonna try to say it, but I've always had a tough time saying it. Even though I'm Hispanic, I have still have a tough time saying it. La, la, oh, what the freak? The la, or is it la, le, la, 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 what the freak is her? La rona, or some shit like that. Like, la, 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 what the, <laughs> see, this is why I can't in Spanish sometimes. It just don't work. The la, La Rona, I, I, you, the, 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 what the frick, you know what I'm trying to say, I can't say it, I'll put up the word here because I can't freaking say it. They made a movie about it, I never saw the goddamn movie because I don't watch scary movies in general. But there's that one, the Chupacabra, ooh, the Chupacabra, ooh, mm -hmm. those are terrifying. <laughs> or Vrujas, which is Brit, British, <laughs> which is a witch in Spanish, you know, like how an out, like, you know, witches turn into owls and stuff like that. It's just, yeah, <laughs> the, there's, there's a lot of Hispanic ones down here, so. <laughs> so that's why I'm like, those are the ones that I always remembered. So I'm curious to hear, I don't think I've ever heard any other urban legend than the ones that I've grown up with. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. So I'm curious to see how, like, what the, what they say about, like, because it's like, you know, Britain's like not that different from us in a way. Like, I, I know they're, I know they're different, but like, but like, in my mind, they're not that different because <laughs> I feel like we're really like the same. Well, I guess the way, the way I come from, you know, like, it's just, there are like, it's just, it just feels the same to me, okay? Because when I went to London twice, I literally felt like I was at home. It was just like, it was like amazing. I'm like, oh my god. So that's probably, the, you know what I mean? I guess it's just me, okay? I'm gonna shut up. We're gonna get into this and I'm, gonna, I'm excited to see what urban legends they have. So let's go. Wait, what the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. What, oh JJ? my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's it. <laughs> I'm gonna get my peaches out in Georgia. Yeah, yeah that what? did. Hey, welcome back what? to the Science Reaction. <laughs> I just felt like adding a little bit of flavor to it, you know. Uh, okay, we've got KSI. I don't know what the uh, into uh, confusion here. And uh, we'll be reacting to top 10 oh scary British oh. urban legends. Oh. Ooh. Why is that exactly <laughs> spooky? What, you don't like a little bit? <laughs> I don't, I don't like his ED. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> Not really. Right. Yeah, start here before this gets Oh my weird. god, Jenji, stop. That shit. It's actually terrifying. I hope you are ready for this. I like this man. Hey, hey Danny, turn. Danny. And this time, it's from my home. Man's got a key on his chain. Oh. Oh. With a lot of history Jeez. dating back thousands of years. <laughs> so it makes sense that there would be a lot of scary <laughs> stories attached to certain places. Which this one is of these will send a shiver down your spine? Listen, bro, just because you've got a fucking cat on your neck doesn't mean that you can make fun of these USB sticks. bro. Wait, what? If you insult him, oh, if you insult him, you are insulting him. I was like, I thought he him in a tattoo. Oh, yeah, I was like, yeah, wait, yeah, when did? Never mind. Boy, wow. 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 Mate, that, I'm sorry, but that, that outfit is dreadful. Hey, What's shut, up with hey, that shut the beard, up, man. bro? Hey, so you had him. shoes with wings, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Ten, scary. We have the corpse train. Now, according Ooh. to London folklore, in the early 1900s, there was a train that ran underneath the city, and it was only for dead people. Back oh, then, what? hospitals and morgues were struggling to deal with the vast amount of people that were dying from poverty and disease. Oh. They decided to transport the bodies out of the city, but knew that they couldn't do it overground without disturbing a lot of people. Oh, okay. So, they used an existing train line to load the bodies. Wait, you didn't think it was so oh, oh, so I, th I, th I thought this was just some bullshit. <laughs> this no, it was a cod map. Yeah, he's like, yeah. shut <laughs> up, mate. <laughs> yeah, no, oh this my is god. Unbelievable. Yeah, that's kind of fucked. Well, that is. Londoners were getting on and off their trains, <laughs> unaware of the nearby bodies. Yes. Next about number nine now. Oh my god. The suicide pool. This oh. one comes from Epping Forest what? near Essex. The story goes, wait, wait. Bob, 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 big up even, Epping I don't Forest. Think we can big up. Yeah. 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 No, no, no. Oh, no, I can, bro. They're my ends. We have our own suicide forest. This is an uh, urban and legend. I think it's near there that there's a place called Hangman's Hill. Wait, they actually call it Hangman's Hill? Yeah, Hangman's Hill. You turn your car off and your car goes up the hill. It's yeah, fucked. It's like, yeah. Wait, yeah, it's called Hangman's Hill. Yeah, yeah, yeah it wait, up. you lot. I, I need to take you there for a Sidemen video, bro. It's wait, have you, yeah, have you, you done that? Yeah, I used to do it with my mum and that growing up. You go there, turn your car off completely, 
Uh, put the handbrake on and you go up the hill. It's mental as fuck. Sure, you're just not on like an escalator. You just pass <laughs> there. No, bro, no, bro. <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm gonna have to take you there. Well, you sure it's a hill, like an up, up slope? Yes, yes, bro. It's it's fuck. It's Are you sure you're not your facing the wrong way? No, <laughs> Simon, bro. <laughs> He's like, Simon, bro, I've done swear. this about 16 times, bro. It's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm what? actually sober. The story goes that years ago, a young couple in love were followed to a pond in the forest by the girl's father. When the couple finally embraced, the father leapt from the trees to confront the boy. The fight got out of hand and the father ended up killing the boy in a rage at the edge of the That's pool. Serious, the waters then turned black. Wildlife what? that was touching the water yeah. died instantly. What? In the oh. years that followed, bodies started to appear in the water. First, it was an old woman, then a young one with her young child beside her. They say the pool Jeez. drew them into their death and Jesus. that the pool is still out there in the forest somewhere waiting for its next victim. Next to that, number imagine. eight now, we Jeez. have Annie. This one comes from Edinburgh. Scotland. In the old town there lies a street known as Mary <laughs> King's Close. It's steeped in myths and legends of hauntings <laughs> and murders. In 1990, a psychic called Aiko Gibo visited and felt a small hand touch hers. Oh, she said up. that she then made contact with the spirit of a dead child called Annie, who had died in a plague hundreds of years ago and had Ooh. lost her doll. The psychic then went to a nearby shop and brought back a Barbie doll for her. Now, since then, <clears throat> visitors leave dolls for Annie and a mountain of Do them. Do you not believe all the spirits? <laughs> stuff you know the ones that are like i'm talking to someone being a great do you not believe in that oh what seances that's what they're I called i think right? i think that all this shit where you're like you know remember most haunted when the domite speaking to him right there and then no yeah. no your your waff is waff but like weird shit does happen we have to we have to remember we don't actually know everything like we've we've only recently found out that there might be a fifth matter or is it or fifth force? You mean when I linked it in the chat last night? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, no, but I mean, that's what I mean. Like, we are, like, what's, what, what is this fifth well, force? We think we know, what bro, could it be? but we yes, don't so, actually know. And also, the best thing is, you can't do research, bro. You're dead, innit? Once wait, wait, wait. Dead. So I feel like Ethan and JJ are both arguing different things right now. Different things. No, I'm not yeah. arguing. I'm just saying. I'm making No, but Ethan's saying shit. that that kind of thing doesn't exist, whereas JJ's saying we don't know what exists. Oh, no, I still think it's bullshit. But you've just said, we don't know everything. Well, we don't so... know. Well, but we don't. But I know so that so is wait, wait, wait. So what's your point? So you yeah, don't yeah. know that's the bullshit. What's your point? What's your point? Like what? You're saying? You're saying? No, no. Prince I'm Philip not saying anything. Just chilling next oh. to me right now. No, no I'm saying. No. Say that, <laughs> what I was saying is, yeah, is weird shit happens. But when the dons are saying. Oh, I'm speaking to Christoph, your no, uncle. No, no, right no. I'm, look, like I'm not saying yeah. anyone's saying bullshit. I'm just saying, JJ went, anything is possible. We've just found this, but this is bullshit. That <laughs> yeah. doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, no. <laughs> yeah, and see, JJ, you get. Yeah, no, 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 bullshit. Okay. <laughs> then... Number seven now, we have the faceless woman. This one comes mm. from the borough of Barking in She's London. She's just find Beacon Tree. Oh, she would be dead for giving head. Bro, why is everything Get happening it? in East London? East London. Hey, bro, East London's just, tapped. I told you. What did I say? What did I say? Bro, Shut you, know what? you lot miss JJ trying to have sex with a ghost. Yeah, no, yeah, no. I, yeah, I, 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 I what? It, it's Simon. best. <laughs> it's best to skip over it. Right yeah, you're not Beacon wrong. Beacon Tree Station, home to the faceless woman. The most famous sighting of her happened in 1992. A station supervisor reported that on one night, he heard the handle of his office door rattle. Outside on the platform stood a woman. She had blonde hair. She wore a very pale dress and just stared into the distance. The supervisor How did she stare without a face? I was like, I was just going to say. Him only to reveal she had no face. Oh, just dark. That's just well, there should be one. Local ghost hunters claim that she is the victim of a train crash that happened there in 1958, which killed 10 people. At number six now, we oh, have the Beast. Okay. England's Hackney Marshes is known bro, for its screen. Bro, bro, East London is tapped. East London is so... Yeah, I love this place. No, this is elite. This is elite. I love I'm going to be terrified by the light. It's swirling <laughs> fog, the perfect setting for this urban legend. The story goes that in 1980, two bear carcasses were found in the river. They had been decapitated. Okay, People started like speculating beast. about who or what <laughs> could cut a bear's head. Welcome to a bear! later, four boys one were taking up. a walk along the marsh one winter morning when they saw it through the trees. They described it as a giant, great, growling, hairy thing. As soon as it saw them, it reared up on its back legs and let out a <laughs> deafening roar. The boy's rap story remained. Uh, a bear. <laughs> probably just a bear. Yeah. <laughs> probably was just a bear. <laughs> 
I, I highly doubt there was a bed next to Hackney Marshes as well. <laughs> you never know, man. Bro, Hackney Marshes can just about maintain squirrels, bro. Let alone fucking nah, bears. Yeah. Yeah. Like, hey, yo, what are we saying hey. about these ends? <laughs> Hackney Marshes and New Zoo, bro. <laughs> Habitat. Yeah. We're returning now to the London Underground for our number Ooh. five with The Crying Girl. On November 18th, 1987, a match was dropped on an escalator at London's King Cross Station. A fire quickly spread into the nearby ticket Jeez. office, which resulted in the death of 31 oh. people. In the years mm. since then, passengers have reported seeing a girl who died around the station. She has long brown out, hair, you know? wears jeans and a t-shirt. No, nah, I think drowning. No, drowning apparently drowning is euphoric, euphoric though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, dr drowning what, is apparently you're euphoric. you're struggling yeah. to breathe. No, like, no, like, like just apparently, before. It, it, apparently, it's like a duvet covering your brain. And um, apparently, it's like the moment before passing is apparently like, I don't know, yeah, quite cool. Uh, who knows? Quite cool. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, that's just some rumors, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Don't know that's what, what they say in the streets. In East London. <laughs> some people have even reported hearing her sobs while smelling smoke coming out from the escalators. Back they were high. Now for number four with Sawney Bean. <laughs> this is the gruesome Sawney tale Bean. of Alexander Sawney Bean, a man who was said to be the head of a Scottish clan of cannibals in medieval times. Oh. Huh. According to legend, the group was made up of his wife, their 14 children, and 32 grandchildren, what some of whom were born. <laughs> or as he called it, they dinner. Oh my god. <laughs> god damn it, Simon. They would bring their bodies back to the cave to then dismember and eat them. Oh. Any leftovers were pickled in a jar for later. When King James the Sixth of Scotland cannibals eventually draw heard of these murders, they don't, bro. I was like, yeah, I was like, like, like <laughs> they won't eat their kids. They're like, no, no, there's no, 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 no. Trust me, if they get hungry enough, bro. If they get hungry enough, they're not fish. <laughs> I, w I wouldn't like if I was a cannibal. I wouldn't eat dick. Alright, okay. No, but if I was a cannibal, I wouldn't eat human. <laughs> JJ, what? I just want to slap you this video. Why? I don't know. Just want to slap you. If you choose, if you're making up the scenario, you can choose what you eat, innit? Bro, bro, bro. My dog just said he doesn't eat not. dick. Toby, Toby. Hey, how are you? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Plan was caught and then executed. Some people say you can still find the cave along the Benane Head area of Scotland. Moving on to number three now, we have Cane Hill. Some say this is one of the most <laughs> haunted places in England. It was a mental asylum for over a hundred years, from 1882 to 1991. Where it built it? up a reputation for abandoning some of its patients, hiding He's them down. away from the public <laughs> eye, and never truly helping them. Some people say the patients who died left their energy behind there because of their tortured lives. The building was gutted Jeez. by a mysterious fire in 2010. Perhaps the scariest stories of all are of the faces appearing by the burnt out windows. Next up at number two Jeez. now, we have the House of the Screaming Skull. This one comes from Bettiscombe Manor in Dorset, England. Nice. The legend goes that in 1830, a man lived there called John Frederick Pinney. He had a slave that he had brought Big back yard. from the Caribbean island of Nevis. Uh, the... So my man, what, is just chilling with his slave, yeah? Oh. This isn't like, modern day, Jed. This was this was back then. I mean, is that the like a twenty twenty picture? Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say. I look oh, like oh, look at my new modern home. <laughs> JJ's trying to cancel him. Yup. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> what? Oh my God. What? It's not going to stop this guy. <laughs> JJ, jump back on Twitter, bro. Cancel this done. <laughs> the man became ill, and on his deathbed, he swore he would never rest unless his body was returned home to Nevis. Pinney refused to pay for that expense, and when he died, he had the man buried in the local graveyard. After that, ill fortune began to plague the village for months. Screams and cries were heard from the cemetery. At the manor house, windows rattled and doors kept slamming. The body was dug up and brought oh, to the manor Fox house where today only the skull noise. remains. Where Ew! Just Have, you Fox Fox? Yeah, Have you not heard Fox of Fox? Yeah, Foxes are outrageous. Outrageous. They literally, when, when foxes are banging, they're going, Ah! 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 Bro, foxes banging. Wait, why are we talking they about like, this? Like, wait, you don't know? Penis or something. Yes. They have an yes, umbrella dick. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm gonna see this. I'm sorry. Bro, you don't JJ's know about Fox wish. umbrella dick. JJ's Fox. gonna wish he has an umbrella cock. Why Man, what the you? fuck is that? <laughs> 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 oh my god. Yeah. 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 That, that's it. <laughs> Are you done oh looking at that? Can we, can we carry on watching the video? Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Put your dick away. Oh, just fuck off. <laughs> He's just looking at his like, Femme, how can I make it like? Oh my god, oh, man, stop! No. The body was dug up and brought to the manor house where today only the school <laughs> remains where it's said to haunt the manor, but the village so remains safe. Yeah, I, I don't know. Wait, so he's got the skull of a slave. 
Just chilling in oh, his manner. for fuck's sake. Well, I mean, um, it is. Uh, let's just say how it is. Well, I mean, I, I don't think I, he even lives there anymore, does he? Yeah, he's dead, He's bro. dead. Bro, he's I was dead. Like, like, imagine your mum, God forbid, your mum died. And you had her skull just chilling in your house. JJ, what happened today, fam? You no, no, no. no. Hey, J J JJ's just, on, on some, some today, and I, I don't know if I can handle it today. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh okay. I got I a few yellows as well. that ripple. Well. Hold that ripple. <laughs> yeah, did, did people uh, did people re register that yellow? Yeah, on the tally. Yes. I don't think we. Put, I don't think we. Put <laughs> no, I don't yet. think they did. No, no, no. We need. We need. We need. You all right, JJ? Dartmoor is a vast, rocky, windy, and mysterious part of England. It's popular among tourists, but everyone who goes there is aware of the legend of the Hellhounds. It's said that a pack of these ghost dogs wanders the moors at night, preying on sheep, like and they're not afraid oh of humans. Same picture. Is it a bear? Yeah, it is the same. It's a bear. Wanders the moors at night, preying on sheep, and they're not afraid of humans. They've often been described as cat-like, but with the frame of a bear. What kind of cat is that? I have no idea. And film taken of them over over the years, they claim to show glimpses of these hellhounds in action. Many of the locals don't even need that, though. They've heard the stories handed down from generation to generation. Some of them even <laughs> say they've seen the hounds <laughs> with their own two eyes. Ah, great stories. With the dogs, are, are they ghosts then? Oh, no, that they're meant to be like <laughs> hellhounds. Like, no, they're not actual dogs. <laughs> JJ. What is in? JJ, but... <laughs> I just, I, I, just, yeah, just, yeah, just, yeah, JJ. Oh my lord! Hell, I'm. Um, what the? F <laughs> Sorry. Outro, outro. JJ, seriously, what were you smoking before this freaking video? Because what I don't, honestly, I, is it weird that I don't remember a goddamn thing that happened in this video? <laughs> like, I know, I like, just, like, is, is that weird? Like, oh my god, like, my brain, uh, <laughs> just, I just, <laughs> You know, maybe I'm on some smoke too, so you know what? I mean, granted, yesterday was 420, I'm just saying. Granted, this did come up before then, but still, you know what I'm saying, right? <laughs> Honestly, dude, yesterday, all day, like, I was, I was, uh, I was supposed to record yesterday, but I really needed to catch up on editing shit and stuff like that, so I was like, you know what? I was like, I'm gonna edit all the, th all the shit that I need to do today, so that way I could literally just record today, and then, you know, you know the process. <laughs> so, <laughs> literally all day yesterday. You know, I'm not paying attention to what the hell day it is. And then like when I go downstairs for dinner, I look at the calendar and I'm like, today is 420, isn't it? <laughs> it's like, god damn. <laughs> like it just blew my mind. Like that I was so unfazed. <laughs> like, I was like, oh my god, what the frick? Like, like, and, and even like looking at it, it didn't click at first. I was like, today's the 20th. I'm like, <laughs> and then like, oh, um, then like, like as soon as like I said that in my brain, like it's the 20th, I was like, ah, oh, it was 420 today. No wonder. <laughs> like, cause I kept seeing all like these like, like notification tweets about shit. And I just like, was like, okay. Like I, my brain didn't like, like I was like, I was just like kept glancing at him. So I like didn't read him, read him. And I was so confused what was happening. I understood it now. <laughs> So maybe I am on some smoke. I don't know. So I'm gonna shut up and we're not. I'm, I'm done with the video. What am I doing? I'm seriously like right before I was doing the outro, I started doing the intro again, like because I, I, I thought it was intro in the damn video. Uh, you know what? Maybe I, <laughs> maybe I'm just crazy. So you know what? I, <laughs> I'm gonna just thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see all beautiful, wonderful people in the next video. All right, mm, bye.